Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through this door. I say that a lot at the beginning of the walkthroughs parts. This, oh, it goes really high up. <laughs> I say that a lot, don't I, lately? Um, am I going to have to plop him down here? Oh, no, no, I, I don't plop him down here. I bring this up by going around like this, I think. Better go up and not down, okay. There we go, and now I have access to my buddy once again. That was a weird... I mean, that was weird how the camera just flipped around like that, but whatever. So now we got him on here. And now we pull this around. And I don't think we need him on this floor, actually. Uh, but I do need to come back up here for... something. <laughs> it's that other room that I had that I couldn't complete. See the treasure chest on that floor? Yeah. So we're gonna bring him back down. And let's murder all these little critters using our statue. Just makes things a whole lot easier. <laughs> but I should be out of its... out of the way of its... Swingy hammer. It, they, these uh, bugs, I mean the little, you know, mini baby gomas here, they don't seem to be afraid of the statue, but they're far more afraid of you. So maybe that's what you're, ooh, what you're really supposed to do here is just shockwave them all to death. See how easy it is to clear them all that way? Get you around the corner. Oh, stop hitting the, stop hitting the edge. <laughs> What, how is how do I keep hitting I, it looks like that I'm that the air is solid or something like that <laughs> come on there we go now that we got this guy out I will show you something nice take him around and Destroy this, first of all. And, you know what? I'll take care of this spare beamos here. Whoa! That's a problem. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Man, this guy is powerful. Oh, no, no, wait! Oh, wait, maybe it's me that's hitting the wall that's preventing the statue from stopping or something like that. What you want to do with your statue here, if you don't, if you don't have your statue, you can just bring a... Uh, a statue up from up there, down to unlock that pole down there. Ow. <laughs> Hello? Am I just stunning you? Fine, I'll just... Just kill you the normal way. <laughs> and let's get ourselves another pole. This one's really easy. It's not flying high up. Whoa, jeez! <laughs> Trying to ambush me, are you? Well, this is what you get. See, this switch over here, if you don't have that statue to break this gate, and if you know, like, if you get forget about it or something, just take one of these and walk it down to that switch over there and put it on the switch. I gotta be back to human form in order to use my psychic powers. Well, it's not really psychic powers, it's the power of the Dominion Rod. And I don't, I don't think there's anything else to demolish with my buddy here, so I'm just gonna, come on, on, you can do it, you can do it. I don't wanna stop control of you just for that little bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna go back up to the other floor and do that weird stat, I mean, this statue puzzle again. Yeah, it's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take it up. You know, the one with the two switches. And... Okay, now I'm gonna do this one more time. Watch where they're coming from. I'm gonna follow this one. Just showing you how this is done properly, if you're paying attention. <laughs> there we go. 
because I, I didn't quite get that on my first run through here, so that, that's what caused me to have some ire. <laughs> and then you pick up the next statue. Wait for it to go around, or I should say the other one to go around. Like that, you only want to go in the direction that you want to go, so you stay on that side of the track, basically. Hmm. You plop it on there. Come on, come on. <laughs> Just nudge it up there. There we go. Now, let's complete this room. Alright. So we have two treasure chests to collect in here. A bunch of critters. That's very handy. It seems like only the uh, young Gomas here don't are the ones that attack you. The other ones just, like, attempt to snipe you, per se. Do, do I really want to bother killing off these guys? I don't remember if I have to kill off all these to get one of the treasure chests in this room. I know one requires the Dominion Rod and li these little statues here. You'll see what I mean once I get up there. It's You gotta throw one a statue onto one side and then guide it over to a switch and on the other side you just guide a, a similar statue over to the switch. Uh, I clear out the room. And nothing happens, so <laughs> I guess I do need you. Oh, I, did I? I must have missed that treasure chest the first time. Well, anyway, you want? How did that happen? <laughs> you want to throw one up there, on, inside the fence, like that. Take control of it. Move it all the way over. Just let make it go over to the switch. And there you go. Quit. Do the same with the other statue. And I must have missed this chest completely on my other run. Oh well. Things always get completed eventually. <laughs> I had to come back here anyway, so I guess it didn't really matter. Maybe that's why I was so unobservant, was because I, I was like, I knew that I couldn't completely finish this room. And I was like, eh, I'll be back here later anyway. Although that could have costed me if I, like, missed a key or something like that in that treasure chest. But, no, it all worked out. And this gives you a heart piece! Woohoo! Uh, and that's about it for here. So I guess I'll go back down a level. Do I need that middle elevator? Because I, I think I can just... Yeah. <laughs> It's like, who cares about the elevator and I can just do that. Alright. I'm going to go through the store. This is a pretty big dungeon, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. I'll show you the map. I didn't really show you that before. Look how many floors there are in this thing. <laughs> They're all pretty compact, though, so it's, it's like a puzzle per floor. Not gonna bother with that keys. Well, maybe I have to bother with that keys. Wait, actually, how do I get through? Oh, I see. Didn't notice the claw shot target. That takes me over the gate. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> All right. So, well, we got the armor sky. I definitely want to take him down there. So... Kill him! What? What? Do you have to be active in order to take a hit from this thing? I guess so. <laughs> Alright, now I want to get him in front of me just to make things a little bit easier. There we go. Now I'll just pretend I'm, I'm him. And take care of the enemies as such. <laughs> wow, he really slides through. I mean, slides downstairs quickly though. Uh, I'll break down this gate. Let's kill that critter and get him on the bell. Or get him in the bell. Um, I can also break this gate for the future if I would like to. Uh, is that? I already got the thing in there. Okay. Yay! And that's about it here, so let's go to the next room. 
It's it's like a double dungeon. You go through the rooms and then you backtrack with the statue. And here we are. We made it. Take him. Going up. And I'm I trapped myself, didn't I? Well, maybe not. Come on. Over here. Oh, okay, fine. I'll just redo it. <laughs> and this is the identical statue. And once you put him on that platform, you can never use him again because it's stuck in place, sadly. <sighs> and you also can't get him back through the floors because, you know, these bells are one way and whatnot. So that's. See, if you attempt to shoot it, you can't do it again. <sighs> That's too bad. I will forever miss you, my statue buddy. I will forever miss you. You are the greatest of companions. Although Midna was pretty good, but she doesn't kill enemies quite as good as you do. <laughs> All right, let's go through this door. And continue on through the dungeon. And what do we have in this room? This is definitely a big change of scenery, I have to say. I can make this jump, right? Yeah, I can make that jump. Because you know how, how well furnished, well not well furnished, um, how well, whoa, Bemos. Did not see you over there. That was probably the point of your positioning. Or I was just so unobservant again. <laughs> I'll be the latter. Okay, it's done. Hmm. I could take one of those statues and get it to block that spike roller thingy. But why do that when I can just do that? <laughs> oh! Maybe that's why. Oh my. Where'd you come? Oh. <sighs> that was terrible timing for that. The swinging blade thing is. I have no idea what they call that thing. <laughs> All right, must be cautious. Must be careful. I I think I need a statue over there. Okay. <laughs> that is fine. I have one over here. And I'll just get myself past that one. I don't know why I need a statue for that, probably for the gate. Ah, okay. Come across. And. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to get on the other side of the gates. And then. Take the statue off it. Oh, I didn't mean to kill you, little statue. I'm sorry. I, did, I didn't want to pull you that far off. Rest in peace, little statue. Rest in peace. And that's about it for the dungeon. There's a couple of collectibles that are actually out, outside the, the dungeon, but I'll get them once I finish off the boss here. And I didn't mean to collect that fairy, but I guess that's okay because I've already got another fairy in that bottle. Oops. Uh, I think I'm actually good to go for this, for the dungeon boss here. I think. So, looking at the time, I think it'll be fine having a little extended part here. It always seems like the last part of the dungeons that I've been playing here have been longer than the others. It's just how I've been completing them, I guess. Because it feels like if I just put the boss like in its own part, then I'd have to do something else to fill out the part, and I'd rather have... You know, the dungeons in their own parts, per se. Uh... Uh oh. Oh, jeez! This is the boss of the dungeon. Armogoma! Uh, maybe partially related to the uh, normal Goma. But anyway, as you can tell, it's got an eye on its back. I think, you know, whenever you see something that has an eye, you should probably shoot it in its eye. And, uh-oh. Oh, I need to get to the front. I'm being stupid. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I remember now. You take control of the statue, and then pound it with... Yeah, like that. I remember now. You don't actually attack it with your sword. Uh... Oh, jeez. 
You got a BMO sigh. <laughs> whoop. Whoop. Ain't gonna happen, girl. <laughs> Open your eye already. There we go. Switch over. Oh, come on. Are you serious? There we go. Can I attack you again with it? I guess not. That is one humongous spider, by the way. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> Are you going to do the Beemos thing, or are you going to shoot at me again? I, I mean, yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do. Ew. <laughs> and yeah, they make babies. Gotta kill off the babies, and these are a lot more aggressive than the other ones. And as you can tell, that's where the babies have been coming from in the dungeon this whole time. Most from Armogoma, basically. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Her aim is pretty... It's it's pretty stiff, as you can tell. You can move a lot faster than her beam is. You can just move around in circles like that to avoid it. I can't believe I forgot about the statue parts. You know, hitting her with the statue. By the way, you can tell that she covers up the light. As she scuttles over it. And... Whoop. And that's how you can tell where she is on the ceiling. Ah! <laughs> she hurts you and she just walks into you with her sharp legs. Alright, just gotta... Are you gonna shoot me with your beam or are you going to spawn babies? You're gonna spawn babies. I'm just gonna stand in the middle of these and do that. <laughs> that they scare them pretty quickly. And since they're a little bit more aggressive than the other ones, they are... Oops. I have to say that they're quite a bit easier to take care of because they aren't running away from you. Maybe that's the point. Let's get over there quickly. And victory music. Yeah! Woo! I'm afraid that's the boss. No, really. It's probably one of the easiest bosses in the game. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, that was really it. Wait, or was it? Oh, 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 yeah, I was kidding you. <laughs> but there's not really much to this anymore. <laughs> it's protected by its babies. But yeah, that really was the boss. I was just joking around there. <laughs> it really is one of the easiest bosses in the game, which is surprising because this is pretty late in the game. This is the uh, sixth dungeon, if I'm not mistaken. Unless you count, you know, your first and second visit to Hyrule Castle, then that would be then this would be the eighth dungeon. But that, that felt more like an adventure portion than, than an actual dungeon. Alright! But I'm not quite complete. I mean, I haven't completed this dungeon quite yet. No, not really. That was a really easy boss. <laughs> but that's kind of funny how it, you know, it, it, it pops out of its eye like a, a little critter of its own. And then it runs away from you in a comedic way and you just shoot it with the... With the bow. I'm sure we'll be fine. It is our only hope anyway. How will we get to the sky anyway? Hmm. But first, get yourself the heart container and increase your health. And we're also going to be increasing our health one more time. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm good. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through that portal in time. Unless I won't have to. Because the statues... Remember there were statues... Um, way, way, way back at the very, very first room of the Temple of Time? Yeah, those, I believe, contain a Poe. As well as a uh, heart, heart piece. Oh, here we are. This is exactly the place I wanted to go to. 
Okay, so we go back to this room. And now we take care of the rooms on the left and right. Just gotta move these statues out of the way. These statue, statues may look familiar to you, actually. As you've seen, probably seen a couple of them throughout the adventure. There's the pole. The last pole of the dungeon, actually. And the other one contains a heart piece, which is also the last one of the dungeon. Awesome. Uh, oh, I gotta be a human. Just for this one statue, just to move it out of the way. Just how things go, I suppose. And I'm not close enough. And there's a room behind there. Which has a little treasure chest. Open it! And that's all! <laughs> the Temple of Time is 100% complete, I believe. Well, aside from, you know, getting the golden bugs and stuff like that, but no, I'm talking about, like, the main, main collectibles and stuff like that. So, that is how I'm going to end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.